bookmarks, of course, are an easy way to quickly find portions of large music that you go to pretty frequently. You can see I have a little pink bookmark here. It helps me to quickly find this piece that I'm working on. Now, you can create virtual bookmarks within Music Reader to do the very same thing. So I'm going to show you how. Very, very easy to do. Okay, so we're opening up Music Reader, and this is a great piece to show an example of how to set up bookmarks. We're going to use the Suite for Flute and Piano by Vidor, and this has a lot of shorter portions or shorter uh, uh, movements within this suite, so we want to quickly be able to jump back and forth between these various pieces within the suite uh, for rehearsal or programming purposes. So let's go ahead, let's find out how to create our first bookmark. Go up to the toolbar, and look for the location option over here. Click on that and then it'll change to give you several options. Let's go ahead and select the add bookmark. Okay, and you can see the bookmark is now the option over here. Now I'm going to go into any area in the music, click on it, okay, left click or tap with your pen, and then you're, you're going to be asked which type of bookmark you want to create, either an alphabetical one or a numeric one. For now, let's go ahead and select a numeric one. And for the numeric, I'm going to just go ahead and select the, enter the name of the, kind of the movement heading here. It's Moderato. Let's go ahead and type that in. And you can see there's a number one here. That's our first bookmark. I'm going to go ahead and browse over ahead and jump to our second movement over here. And let's do the same thing. Go over here, select add a bookmark. Tap on the empty area here. We're going to add another numeric bookmark. We're going to call this Scherzo. And as you can see, it automatically advances the number of the bookmark. Okay. Let's do one more. Let's just kind of manually go ahead over here and go to the next movement, which is the Romance. Go ahead and do this one last time. Romance. Oops, excuse me. There we go. And again it automatically advances the number of the bookmark. Let's take a look and see how this works now. If you want to jump to your bookmarks that you've just created, go into the Browse option over here, click on that, and you can see now you have all three of your bookmarks that you've just created with the, um, with also with the text that you typed in. Now the text is not required, it's just an option. You can certainly leave the bookmarks blank if you like. But let's go ahead and just take a look, jumping to the very first bookmark here, that's cool. Go back to the Browse option. Let's select the second bookmark. And you can see you instantly jump to where those bookmarks are located. Let's go ahead and just jump to the third one really quickly. See? Very, very quick, very easy. Now let's say I'm working in a portion of this piece and I find something really, really difficult. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and kind of advance this a little bit. Okay, let's look at this nasty little run. Oh boy, I want to remember that I want to go back and practice this really work on that. I'm going to use my bookmark option again. And what I like to do is I like to select the bookmark and this time instead of the alpha, instead of the numeric one, I like to select the alphabetical one. So let's go ahead and click ABC and I'm going to write down the word practice. Okay? If I hover my mouse over that, uh, you should be able to see the text practice pop up. But anyway, let's go ahead and let's take a look at the browse menu and you can see the bookmark I just created here, practice, will help me jump right to that spot. Isn't that cool? Okay. And let's go ahead and do one more just for fun. Let's go to another nasty looking spot. Oh, let's see. This looks hard over here. Let's go ahead and jump to this one. Okay. And again, click location, add a bookmark. We're going to add a bookmark over here. And again, alpha, alphabetical one, practice and you can see it automatically advances alphabetically a b c d e f g etc okay so now if i want to jump to the a bookmark over here i can jump over here like that okay if i want to jump to the b bookmark it'll jump to that portion of the music so on and so forth and you can see that the alphabetical bookmarks will be listed first before the numeric ones so just be aware of how that works okay one more thing i'm going to show you is how you can get rid of bookmarks. Okay, let's say uh, you don't want this bookmark here anymore. Go back to the location option up here in the top menu bar, select add bookmark. Now with that option selected and active, click on that bookmark that you want to get rid of. And there, there you go, it disappears. Let's go back to the browse menu. And you can see it's been removed from the options here. Let's go to the first A practice one. Do the same thing, location. 
select add a bookmark and now with that option click on the bookmark that you want to get rid of and there you go that disappears and it's off the list as well okay so that's a quick look at creating both numeric and alphabetical bookmarks within music reader so that you can quickly find your way throughout any portion of the music whether it's looking for movement headings or like i like to do uh, specific spots in the music that uh, need extra work or need extra work.